Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is July 17th, 2019, and this is our episode number 474. Today we're doing uh, our very first post-mortem of an investment idea, and that's for Tarpon Investments. Uh, this was actually, I think, the first idea that happened uh, during the videos, uh, so as you may know, if you watch other videos of ours, mostly uh, I randomly go through Brazilian uh, companies, and uh, very rarely do we find a possible idea, and Tapon was one of those. I did invest in it, and this one uh, was not a good idea, it did not work out well uh, for my my fund, let's, let's put it that way. And so uh, there's al always a lot to learn, uh, both in successful and unsuccessful uh, attempts. And what can we say about Tarpon? So um, I bought uh, shares in two uh, occasions. Uh, the first one was in February of 2017, so about two and a half years ago. Uh, months later, I bought uh, a second chunk of, of shares for an average price at the time of uh, four reais and eight cents. Um, in the end, uh, uh, Tarpon uh, gave some money back to shareholders. Uh, first time when it sold. Uh, Somos Educação, if I'm not mistaken. And now when they uh, made a movement to, to take their shares out of the stock market and make the company private, they did return some capital to the shareholders. But uh, the performance uh, for me was about a, a loss of about 55%. So I lost about uh, a little over half of my investment in TAP. Thank God for a diversification. Uh, I don't diversify too much, uh, uh, but some diversification uh, is certainly uh, a blessing. And that was the case uh, here. Um, so in the end, they, they are uh, retiring their shares. Uh, it looks like they will complete this um, in a couple months. And... Uh, you know, to add insult to injury, uh, I, I sold uh, my shares for 39 cents and then they jumped back up to 80 cents. So uh, I could have still uh, saved some of my investment there, just like these last couple of weeks. The idea here is to be extremely transparent. Uh, there are good investments uh, and there are bad investments, and this one was not a good investment. So, even till the end, uh, there was an opportunity there. About this final opportunity, like it was hard for me to assess the likelihood of the sh shares going up and going down. I did not know. It became, at least for me, highly speculative. So, it would be about, uh, you know, like, basically like trading and since the company be became less than one percent of my entire portfolio in relative terms you know we never want to lose money or, or lose an opportunity to to preserve our capital but it, it did not really affect the the portfolio in a in an extremely significant way but what about the important lessons, the big lessons here? Well, we can con collect some, some data and, and add this to our memory for future reference. Um, one thing that struck me at the time was it was highly, highly, highly concentrated. Tapon had a, like 60% of its uh, assets under management, uh, depending on Brazil foods. And Brazil Foods was too leveraged, so I took a big risk there. A kind of risk that today, uh, having learned, 
I would not take again. It's like this. We analyze companies and we avoid companies that have debt. But for some reason, I found it acceptable to invest in a company that invested in another company that high, had high debt. So that is a big lesson not to do that ever again. So it's about caution here. I think that was the number one lesson there. Um, yeah, the fact that it was super concentrated just, you know, elevated the risk and, and potential reward. And a lot of interesting things happened with uh, the sector that Brazil Foods was in, with uh, the investigations, political investigations a few years ago. And they kind of, uh, you know, they sealed the deal there for, for Brazil Foods. Brazil Foods now may be, you know, uh, setting up a comeback. They changed their entire management. By the way, with the exit of the top one guys, so uh, it's an entirely new management at the top there. Uh, who knows? It's actually an interesting company to look at with a fresh set of eyes. But um, I'm not invested in Brazil Foods at the moment, that I can tell you. Also, something that was uh, interesting, because it was a first for me, I tried to contact the, the investor relations uh, guy at Tapon at the time, and he never returned the call. You know, I tried several, several times. I mentioned this in a, a, another video of ours, and uh, today I would think that is a negative. You know, I think nobody is too unimportant as a potential shareholder or as a shareholder that the uh, the company isn't able to to call you back and to say what you know to, to try to answer some questions and uh, at that time i thought well maybe you know it's okay and it's not so for the future uh if they don't have a good relations with their investors don't become an investor an, an investor and you know pretty much the rest is history you know um, um, there were things here uh, signaling you know potential gains but it comes down to very few things and very fundamental things that i overlooked uh, so if the underlying fi uh, financial health of the investees or their indirect uh, uh, holdings are not pristine, you know, why? Why, uh, why jump at, at this questionable opportunity? So this is it. I don't hold Tarpon uh, anymore. I actually, at the end of the year, when they announced the uh, OPA, like at the, at the final hour of uh, 2018, it was kind of like a done deal. It was a matter of timing uh, before I got divested here. So uh, I did uh, sell the shares a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago or something. And this is it for Taco. In our uh, future episodes, we'll come back probably with the same dynamic as always. So we'll do random companies. We will review other ideas, some are going well. So we have many positives as well. Uh, in fact, in, in general, uh, you know, my portfolio is um, over the last three and a half years, uh, you know, we are beating uh, the Brazilian index. So overall, the performance has been very satisfactory. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider uh, becoming one by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, suggestions, criticism, especially with this episode, you know, feedback. I know there were uh, a few uh, viewers who were all or also invested in Tahpo. You know, how how did you do that? Uh, I remember one guy who got off the the stock. Uh, quite a while ago and i think at least he did not have a loss so i mean if you have any questions suggestions criticism 
comments, please uh, leave them uh, on the video and let's discuss this. Meanwhile, I, have a, uh, I wish you have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye-bye.